Hey game developers, Bilal from Zenfinity.net and in this video we're going to be making sprites in Illustrator and then importing them into Unity. So it is going to be a tutorial that both is going to show you the basics of creating a uh, vector art sprite um, and also importing it into Unity, uh, you know, turning it into a game object so that we can put a script on it. So. Uh, why don't we go ahead and start by looking at, I mean, you can see I have this on my screen here. Uh, this is concept art for a video game, but basically w when I was making the concept art for this ship, and I'll show you the other one here, um, this interceptor here, right? Um, I kind of, what I did was this kind of iteration, right? So you'll see oftentimes a concept artist, which I'm not, by the way, I'm a mainly a programmer, I just do some <laughs> some concept art. But um, a concept artist will oftentimes have like, you know, six or, you know, however many, even a hundred iterations of something before actually picking one and then uh, and then uh, taking that one to the next level, right? So one, one reason that that kind of thing happens is they'll have these silhouettes uh, and the silhouettes will help them figure out uh, shape which, you know, kind of gets the definitive look of what something's supposed to be. I mean, so you can see here this interceptor I have is, uh, you can see it's very pointy. Uh, to me, that kind of reflects off of a kind of uh, sinister feeling, whereas this, uh, this one here um, was intended to be a main character uh, ship. And you can see it's it's edgy, but it doesn't have, but but not edgy, right? Uh, but not evil, right? So it has kind of this blocky shape and sharp edges, but it doesn't have these pointy things that kind of look like spikes um, that you would see in some more uh, evil context. Basically, antagonist and protagonist, or, well, evil and, and good, you know. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and actually start, um, I'll make a new... Uh, Illustrator document here, and I'm gonna pick a 4096 pixels here because I uh, like to work in pixels, and I'll create one artboard. And okay, so now I have a uh, an empty Illustrator board here. Uh, so why don't I go ahead and start with making some shapes, right? So I'm gonna be using the color scheme of this kind of gray stuff. Uh, you might want to make a uh, color palette first, so you might, you know, put a couple of colors down here and draw them in and then use them for later. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is just uh, use the eyedropper tool. I'm going to hit I, and I'll grab a gray here and drag it down a bit. I'll double click this coloring here. Uh, I'm going to take off this only, only web colors, and I will say a dark gray for silhouettes here, so let's go ahead and go with that. Okay, and so the tool I'm going to be using mostly here is uh, the pen tool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually dock this here. Let me dock down there. There we go. Uh, so I have my layers here, and first I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'll hit Control L to do that. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and start drawing silhouettes here uh, off of the top of my head until one of them looks good, right? So I kind of have this idea. I think I want to make a more orb-like ship, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this down. So basically what the pen tool, what I'm doing here is I'm putting down vertices for some sort of geometry, right? Um, and every time I click, it puts down a vertex, uh, and then I can do something with that uh, vertex by continuing on to grab, to like put the next one down, and it'll automatically fill. Um, so you see this kind of weird uh, black fill here, but what I'm actually going to do is make it fill in this direction. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to go under this thing. Uh, and, and yes, yeah, so it's kind of turning out very weird, but I mean, we'll, we'll see, right? Oops. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I kind of have this wing-like shape, right? Uh, so here I've kind of made, um, this would be one of the arches, I think, for this ship that I have in my head. So I'll go ahead and, I'm actually just going to go ahead and duplicate this here, uh, and I'll flip it, uh, hit transform, and I'll reflect it on the uh, vertical axis. Okay, and I kind of have this thing here. Um, it kind of looks like a ship. Let me go ahead and turn on uh, snapping to the grid, and I'll go ahead and show the grid with control um, and apostrophe. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this across the grid here. Uh, and yeah, so I'll move these over together. Yeah, so I mean, the grid's kind of irrelevant. You can just snap to pixel or whatever, but um, it just makes it easier for me to see. 
Uh, and so yeah, I have this kind of thing going here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over because I want to have like a core for the ship in the center. Maybe I'll put this over once more. And I might just actually put a ball here in the center. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, expand it by one more. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty strange looking. I'm gonna turn off snapping the grid here. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll use the hotkey here, Shift Control Plus, right? So. Uh, oh, shift control plus <laughs> uh, this one. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down some more. Okay, uh, and yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll scale this a bit down more so it doesn't just look like a Death Star. Um, and yeah, well, I wanna go ahead and like make some connectors in the middle because you can see with, with these other ones, they kind of had these abstract connectors. I mean, this art style is very abstract because I'm not a uh, really great artist, so I kind of improvise and make simplistic styles. So yeah, I have these these indicators basically of darker shades that say there's a thing in here connecting, but it's not at the same height as um, say this hull here in most areas. You know, this hull and then these uh, darker gray uh, areas are connectors. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the art and I will just... I'll go ahead and put a connector in here. And actually, right before I do that, I'll make I'll make a rectangle here that connects this uh, ball. So right here, let's make a rectangle. Kind of goes down and hits these other two right there. Okay, and I'll expand it a bit on the vertical here. Okay, and that kind of looks you know looks kind of strange. It looks like maybe. Uh, something should be back behind here, right? Uh, at least in my head. So I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll actually go ahead and add on vertices here and remove this one. Um, yeah, something like that. This isn't going to be symmetrical right off the bat here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. Put that uh, there as well. And if you wanted to make it symmetrical, oftentimes what I do is I kind of just draft it out, and then um, after I'm done drafting, uh, I'll go ahead and actually split the vertices, and then copy and paste, and do like a flip so that it'll be literally symmetrical. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna kind of go with it here, because um, yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. Uh, okay, so yeah, I have this core thing, um, and I have these wings. So why don't I go ahead and make these connectors here. Uh, so let's say let's go with a bit of a darker gray. And I'm going to make a new layer and drag it underneath our layer two. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put these connectors in now. So let's go right here. Something, something like this. This might be like too much connection space, but you know, like we said, this is just a concept. Uh, I'm not sure why that's not connecting at the end here. There we go. That was weird. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and flip it like we did last time. And it'll kind of just hang out here. Oops. So yeah, I'm not 100% not sure on where that height was. Oh, it looks like it needs to go to the side more as we see that uh, bad edge I made there. Okay, uh, so yeah, that looks about right. Uh, and yeah, we have those connectors. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm gonna actually even expand it even more here. So like, I'll just, I might even just draw a rectangle here and say this is where our uh, connector is. Drag it up here. And yeah, you might want it to also be round uh, just like the circle is. So I'll go ahead and delete that and I'll check. Okay, what if we have a a circle here. Okay, and I'll drag this down some, do this type of thing. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of center that, and then what I'll do is just put in a rectangle here. Because, I mean, these shapes can be messy, it really doesn't matter right now. Uh, in the future, they'll like merge, and then, you know, it'll make a sprite. Okay, so I mean, yeah, this is looking pretty strange. I'm not too happy with how it turned out. Um, but I'm, I'm going to pull these in closer. And I mean, yeah, so this is uh, actually, 
yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of looking strange. It's kind of, I mean, like, these are thick. Um, but I mean, like, like I said, that's why you might make like a hundred silhouettes first. I mean, and then after you make all those silhouettes, um, then, then really go with one and feature it out. In my case, I just kind of picked this one because, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just showing how to use Illustrator here. So why don't I go ahead and, and kind of show you how I basically did these, uh, these pew pew things here, right? So. Um, I'm actually going to just remake that shape, I guess. I mean, it's just really a rectangle with an edge on it. So, uh, here, let's go ahead and say, uh, rectangle with, actually, I'll make a new layer, put that underneath, but above the connectors and I'll make it lighter, I think, actually, uh, just to indicate that these are pew pew units. Uh, so we'll do this sort of thing where it goes down here, that's where it shoots from. And I'll just do this kind of shifty thing here. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna drag it over there. And okay, like now we have one pew pew, it's a bit misaligned, so I'll drag this by holding control, clicking once to make sure I deselect the rest. And I'll drag it to the right some more. And yeah, so now so now I have a kind of a line to pew pew, right? Um, and I'll copy that, paste it, and do what we usually do here with reflecting on vertical. And yeah, oh, let me go ahead and make sure that it's on the same level here. And then I will drag it all the way over by holding shift to ensure it does not go on the other axis, only on horizontal. And yeah, so I mean, it's ugly, but this is this is like an example of something you could make in Illustrator and then import it to Unity, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and group all these. Uh, so let me make a new layer and just drag all these guys into it. Uh, and then I'm going to select that layer and I'll hit group so that I can just drag anywhere and it'll pull it over. I'm going to show the grid so I can put this in the center of our Illustrator. And I'm going to just scale it all the way up. I'm turning back on snap to grid by hitting control shift and apostrophe. And it looks about like there would be almost symmetrical, but not quite. Um, so yeah, I'll put it right there and I'll scale it up to fit this document. I'm gonna turn off snapping the grid so that I can align it manually here. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that's that's what that looks like. I'll turn off the grid by hitting control apostrophe. And like, yeah, now we see our ugly ass uh, spaceship here. Uh, and we can just go ahead and import it into Unity. So for the sake of showing you how to do that, uh, I'll actually go ahead and open Unity. And in the meantime, I'm gonna save this project here. Um, so we'll call this uh, uglyship.ai and I'll put this on the uh, desktop. Actually, I'll put it in, yeah, you know what, the desktop's fine for now. Okay, uh, so why don't I go ahead and make a new Unity project. Here, I'll hit new. And this is gonna be Illustrator uh, tutorial. Okay, uh, now we have this Illustrator tutorial project being made, so that'll open up here. It'll tell me, hold on. And yeah, I mean, how can we make this look better, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think essentially what I would do is probably make these more slim to begin with. I'd change this to not be a ball, probably make it something more edged um, and, and so on. And yeah, I mean, in the future, I probably would make six or seven silhouettes before actually continuing and uh, fleshing it out here. Uh, so we have our Unity project here. And what I'm going to first do is... I'll go ahead and actually make this a solid color because I don't want to bother with uh, uh, looking at a 3D environment and I'll drag it over for a second. And what we're going to do here is export our Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is um, actually hit export here and I'm going to do export or save for web which is technically legacy but it's what I'm used to so I've been using it. And yeah, we see our spaceship here. And you want to make sure that there's nothing uh, weird selected on here. I have a PNG 24. And I'm actually going to change this to a 1024. So I'll save this. Hit the save button. We'll get our uh, 
prompt here. So why don't I go to where we actually made uh, the project, uh, which for me is not there. Should be inside of my C drive and then Unity, Unity projects. Oh, I dragged something in something else. Okay, so, uh, oh, it actually is not here. Maybe it's under tutorials. Yeah, here it is, Illustrator tutorial. Okay, and assets, and then I have ugly ship.png. I'll hit save. Okay, uh, and I saved the uh, AI file here. So I'll drag this over here, and now we see our ugly ship. So first thing you might notice is, why is there a black background? Uh, and <laughs> that's because it's a texture. So let's change it to a sprite here, uh, and just ensure that it actually has transparency, and that's this check here, alpha is transparency. That's the uh, alpha channel, which, yeah, transparency. So why don't I go ahead and change the max size to this, because that's what we made it. Uh, and I'll just hit apply, and we can see the black background will disappear. Uh, and we can kind of just drag this guy in here, and now he's really huge. Um, so there's a couple things you could do. I mean, for one, we know the ship is actually probably going to be like, oops, a fourth of this size, right? Um, so that's one thing you might do. And here, I'll go even down to like 0.15. Okay. Um, and try, try to ignore the ugliness of this ship here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is... Yeah, just, I mean, it's already inside of Unity now, so now you have a game object over here with a sprite renderer. And one other thing to consider is you can always change the uh, size of this by exporting or doing it here. So if your ship is obviously going to be displayed on fewer than 512 pixels, for example, you might want to go lower uh, and so on. So let's go ahead and, I mean, we can add a rigid body, right? So rigid body and I mean collider, box collider. Let's look at in the scene, we can see the boxes around it. And we could even like make a quick script here. So why don't I go ahead and say um, movement, right? I'll make a ship called movement and I'll capitalize the M uh, for my own sanity here. And I'll go ahead and open up this movement script. And Visual Studio will also take its sweet time uh, and I'll drag it over here. And we see a start and an update, right? So why don't we go ahead and just make a classic script where we set, um, actually, let's just use transform.translate uh, in this case uh, to move based on vertical and horizontal, right? So let's say where h axis equals input.get axis horizontal and v axis vertical okay uh, and now let's say transform that translate and we should say oh this is obviously capitalized uh, and what does translate take take a direction so transform dot forward times actually yeah vector 3 translation let's just say uh, New vector 3, uh, x and y, so vector 2, h axis, and v axis. And we'll multiply them both by speed, which I'll make here in a second. So float speed equals, I don't know, uh, let's say 2. Okay, so now we translate on h and v. Uh, I'll go ahead and go back to where is unity? Uh, here's unity. Okay, so uh, we have our ugly ship here now, uh, and yeah, it has a movement script. I'm going to go ahead and actually remove rigid body in the box collider. Uh, let's just hit play and see what happens here. And yeah, sure enough, it awkwardly moves, <laughs> and I lost it, so I don't know, go ahead and start again. Uh, and yeah, so, so yeah, I just, basically the point of this tutorial is that you make something in Illustrator, you export it into Unity, uh, we'll export then import, so there's that. Uh, and then, I mean, it's not very hard to just write a quick script to get it moving. So basically just don't be afraid of the steps, the number of steps that might be in a process, uh, you know, in art or anything really related to game development. Um, just go ahead and go get through it. And yeah, I mean, it's very simple. You just saw me do it, so. With all that said, 
Uh, that is the end of this tutorial. That was how to create an Illustrator, export to Unity, and make a very ugly ship. Uh, so if it helped you out, make sure to hit like. Um, if it didn't help you out, that's fine. You can dislike or call me stupid. Um, and make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this, um, and hopefully with more pretty ships. And with all that said, um, I will see you in the next video.